What's going on guys? Today I just want to show you this new program that I've been using for a little while now called Ease US MOBA Mover. And this is a program that you can download on your Windows PC or your Mac OS computer. Basically what this program lets you do is it lets you back up and store any type of file from your iPhone onto your computer or even transfer files from one iPhone to another iPhone. The best thing about this program is once you have all of your files saved on your computer, you can actually delete them from your phone. And this way you'll never run out of storage space or run out of iCloud space on your phone. And as a quick little disclaimer, this is a paid sponsored video. However, I have been using this program for a little while now and I would highly recommend it for anybody looking to back up their files from their phone. It is really clean, it looks really nice and it's very convenient to use. And I'm gonna be running through each of the different features on the left here and show you all of the capabilities that you can do with this program. Okay, so starting with the first option here on the top left, we have content management. And this is where you can selectively transfer individual files from your phone to your computer. So for example, if I have certain songs that I want to transfer from my phone to my computer, I can click on this audio button here and I can click on music. And here I have a long list of every single song that I have on my iPhone. And basically you can scroll down here, select different songs that you would like to transfer to your computer and click on this transfer to PC button. Here it tells you how you can change the storage path if you would like, but I have mine set correctly. I just have it going to my desktop for now. So I'm just gonna click on yes. Here you can change the different file types for the different files that you have. So for audio here, I'm going to keep it on high quality. So I have the best quality of song transferred to my computer and I'll click on save. And here I have the songs that I have selected transferring to my computer. It says it's now done, that was very quick. And I have this new folder on my desktop right here, which I'll drag up to the top and I'll click on that. And now I can go into my audio folder, my music folder, all songs. And here I have the three songs that I have downloaded and saved on my computer. So I can just go ahead and click on these and basically begin playing this song straight away. And you can do that with any different type of file. Um, you can do it with songs, you can do it with pictures. Okay, so directly under the content management tab, we have data transfer. And here we have phone to PC, PC to phone, or phone to phone. And this is where you can transfer bulk files from your phone to your computer. For example, um, instead of selecting individual files like you would in the content management tab, here you can quickly transfer your entire audio library, your entire picture library, or your entire contact selection, all with one click here. You can just select what you'd like to transfer and click on the transfer button, and that will move all of those files over. I am just going to click on pictures to show you guys, and I'm just gonna transfer a few pictures. I'm going to click on transfer, and in the pop-up window, I'm going to click on continue. And here I'm just gonna transfer a few photos. I'm not gonna do all of them because I have a ton of pictures, but in general, this is a pretty quick uh, program. I just have a lot of photos to move. So I'm just going to transfer around 30 or so, and then I'm going to hit cancel, and I'm going to show you the files that has been transferred. And so there we go, cancel. In the pop-up window, I'll just click yes to continue. And I have this new folder that has been created with my pictures. So I'm going to open this folder, click on pictures, click on album. And I'm just going to click on my Snapchat folders here, and I'm just going to click on an image. I'm going to click on my cat. And as you can see, I have successfully transferred images from my phone to my computer. And the best part about this program is it automatically categorizes your photos in different folders on your computer. And so it makes it very easy to go back in the future and find different files that you're looking for. If you know that the picture came from Instagram or came from your camera roll, this is a very clean and easy way to transfer photos or any file from your phone to your computer. Okay, so the next section we have here is the backup manager. And this is a new feature with this program. Um, but basically here you can create entire backups of your phone that can be restored at a later date. And so if you lose or break your phone or you just get a new phone, you can come into here and you can restore a previous backup that you have saved from your old phone. And this is a very quick way to jump right into essentially your old phone, but having a new phone. And so I'm just going to quickly show this. I'm just gonna click on backup here and I'm going to select everything to show you how it works. I'm gonna click on one click backup. And now straight away, it's going to begin backing up my phone to my computer. Here you can see that each section is loading and it will show you how much time it takes to transfer each section. I think for mine, it'll probably take about an hour. So I'm not gonna run through this entire thing right now. So I'm just going to cancel this and click yes. And once I have a backup created, I would then go into my restore tab. 
if I wanted to restore my phone to a previous point or restore my new phone to my old phone, um, I could just come into here, select the backup that I want it, and click on restore. And that will basically reset my phone to its previous state. This is kind of similar to how iTunes creates backups and restore points, um, but this is a much cleaner and easier way to do this than iTunes in my opinion. So the next thing is the WhatsApp manager. I know a lot of you guys use WhatsApp. And so here you can back up your entire WhatsApp message library to your computer, or you can restore a backup from your computer to your iPhone, or you can even transfer all of your WhatsApp messages from one iPhone to another iPhone. So I don't actually have WhatsApp installed on my phone, but this seems like a very convenient way to save and back up all of your different messages, all of your different files and pictures that you have transferred and sent between people. You can back up this to your computer and save them and never worry about having to lose them if something happens to your phone. Finally, the last thing that you can do with this program is actually really cool. It's the video downloader. And here you can download a video from any link, so for an example, I'm just going to head over to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna select a video here. I'm gonna click on my 30 iPhone battery saving tips. And I'm just going to copy this link and paste it into the program and click on the download button. And after a short period of time, this should finish downloading. So I'm just going to wait for this to finish. And as you can see, this is just about done downloading. And there it is, now it's done. And if I click on this, um, and this video pops up and here I am playing the video straight away. I'm going to turn down the volume uh, like that and I'm going to just play it. As you can see, I'm playing this video. I have this saved on my computer now and I have it saved into my documents. So I could head over to my documents and find this video there. And you can download any video from any different website just by pasting the link into the video downloader section. Okay, so if you like this program and you would like to download this for yourself, I'll put links in the description below where you can go ahead and download this. Um, but basically one of the links that I will have is where you can purchase this. Um, there is a monthly or yearly subscription. I would recommend the yearly subscription. However, I do have a one month code where you can save $14 per month right here. And so by entering this code at the discount, you'll actually be right around $10 per month. So that's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna show you how to use that. Um, basically, you just click on buy now. And on this page, there'll be a little checkbox here. Click to enter the coupon code. So I'm gonna click on that. And I'm going to paste in the code that I have here to save $14 per month. And here my price goes from about $34 Canadian a month um, down to around $14 Canadian a month. So a $14 US saving per month, pretty good deal. Feel free to use this code if you wanna check this out. And one last thing before I go, if you have a phone that's currently locked and you don't know the password to get into it, EasyOS also offers a phone unlocking program. So if I go up to the EasyOS website and click on utilities and click on the EasyOS MOBA unlock, this program lets you unlock your phone, whether you have a passcode that you have forgot or your phone has been disabled from entering too many incorrect passwords. You can remove the password code from your phone, whether it's passcode, touch ID, or face ID. And this is a cool little program that you can basically unlock any phone that you cannot get into. Go ahead and check that out if that's something that you would need. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, feel free to put a comment below and I'll try to get back to you. And uh, if you like this video, hit subscribe. Peace.